Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Rana here. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to set up the bot for Arclight. Starting off, we're met with the AFK tab. In this tab, I always have anti-kick and auto-reconnect active. Uh, this is due to reasons of if I'm AFK and the server goes down I'm, and I'm away still while the server comes back up, uh, my character will auto-reconnect and keep on fighting and I will not lose hours of farming. Auto E is irrelevant now, food is a passive regen. If you have dragon fruit, it will give you a permanent health or mana pool buff, just like an outfit or a mount would. If there is any item you're looking to buy, trade, or sell, putting your offer into this prompt will make your message known to the community. Next up, we have the supporting tab. Auto haste is a must have enable. You can put a specific haste into this command prompt. It does not have to be just a tanny her. For example, Guardians can have Shield Haste or Droids can have a Tani Grand Her. Auto Change Gold, in my opinion, is useless. You can always just deposit it into your bank as such. The Private Message Alarm is useful for when you're watching videos or doing homework and you're just waiting for a special event. World Boss, Capture the Flag, etc. All you have to do is enable it, set it to Xenobot Classic for if you don't want to jump scare, and 1-Up if you need to be notified. Be careful, it's extremely loud. Once you enable it to your liking, just tell your friends to message you, and when time comes to the event, you'll be able to be notified and you'll be able to go. Moving on to the general config tab, this is where most new players panic. These are the two main things that you want to have activated on your bot. Obviously you want to have activate CO enabled if you're a healer. Uh, depending on your vocation, you want to have activate heal rune or combo heal rune. Uh, activate heal rune spams it. Uh, this is used for most of the squishy classes that need to be healed 24-7. Combo heal rune is used for more tanky players that don't die as easily. Uh, SD configuration, uh, this is for mages right now. Uh, it's only for sudden death, but there's soon to be a patch where you can use avalanches and GFBs. Also note that when I click activate heal rune, since I do not have it in my bot, it'll show an error message. This error message will appear whenever there's something wrong with your bot. Once you have all that activated, we'll move on to how you actually set everything up. First, click on the NON and then click on what vocation you are. Then click on the quick button tab right below and a menu full of spells will pop up. This will vary depending on what vocation you are. I know for Droid right now it doesn't show anything. Note that these spells can cancel each other out or share a cooldown. So test out which ones best support your class. Now onto the healer config. A vocation will usually have a spell that heals lightly and shares a small cooldown and another spell that will heal heavy with a larger cooldown. To find out what spells you can use at your current level and vocation, Head to the right top and click on the purple slash blue book that says spell list. When open, select your vocation and what type of spell you're looking to use. Since I'm a tamer with the appropriate level, I would prefer to use healing pedal as my healing spell. The number 1 next to your spell name for healing will be at what percent the bot will use the spell to heal your character. Say I put it at 85, the bot will use the spell when I'm at 85% HP or mana depending on the vocation and spell and heal me. If you're a droid for example, when you have magic shield activated, you can put an evocation in the prompt. When you do, set it to mana along with the percentage of mana you want it to be casted to heal at. This is not just a strictly heal health configuration, this is for mana too. Now click the select heal rune button on the right hand side. In your inventory you'll see a colored rune. This depends on your vocation, with silver wings. Go ahead and click on it. I personally set this rune to 99% health and mana, just because it's infinite. The use second rune button allows you to use another rune that you obtain, one that's specific to your vocation. You can obtain these runes from the Heroes Quest, Seven Trials Quest, and from Forgotten Islands. If you ran out of charges, simply right click it and click recharge. You can always test out these settings and adjust to your liking. Now for spell rotation. Head back to the spell list and click attack. You can always fiddle around with what spells you want to use, but please note that the spells with higher cooldown placed as last priority will never be casted. You usually will always want them as top priority. To find out what spells you can use slash the recommended ones you can use, you can head to the wiki. I'll drop a link in the description. You're always able to test out a new spell rotation in the trainers area and see if it improves or weakens your DPS. Finally onto the CO list for the last general config. For example, we'll use Xura CO to showcase how this bot works. Go ahead and type in your friend's name. Just remember this is case sensitive. There is a difference between a lowercase and an uppercase B. For Xur CO, I'll use Plush for an example and set it to heal him when he's at 95% health. And say I wanted my other friend Chow to be healed at when he's at 95% health. As you can see, I set both of my delays to 1, but the person on top will take priority over the person on the bottom. 
setting delays helps take priority over what spells to be casted first. Be sure to always check the cooldowns on what spells you're going to cast. If you're about to die, the bot will prioritize your healing over using a CO configuration. Moving on to targeting. I personally always have auto target on and I type in anything into the prompt. It does not matter what I type into the prompt because I will put attack all creatures on. Health range and danger you don't have to touch, but if you want your monsters customized of when you're going to attack them, feel free to mess with it. Auto target range is when you have auto target enabled. The number in the box indicates on how far away the creature will be selected for targeting. Target scan interval is how fast the bot will scan for a target within that range. So a higher number for auto target range and a lower number for scan interval will create more stress on your device and can create lag sometimes. If you prefer hunting with having follow on 24-7, feel free to enable the follow option at the bottom of the targets tab. Under the settings tab is where we can save our bot's configuration. Personally, I type in the character's name so I don't get confused with the others, but feel free to set it to whatever you like. Simply click on the prompt, then type in what you want. After that, click save all bot settings. On the left hand side, you'll notice the bot configuration that you saved. 